What is going on? Oh shit. Before we jump into today's episode of Rating My Subscribers, this episode is going to be brought by Ridge Wallets. I've been using Ridge Wallets on a day-to-day -day basis for my wallet solution for some time now, and let me tell you guys, this little thing here has changed my life. I used to carry around a big bulky leather and Velcro wallet. Every time I would get in my car or go sit down to have dinner somewhere, I'd end up taking out that wallet, setting it somewhere, and there were times where I forgot it. But as you guys can tell from this Ridge Wallet right here, guys, it is super small, compact for minimalists such as myself. You can see it is held with elastic bands and you can fit 10 to 15 cards in this not to mention if you're carrying cash you got you covered as well with this cash strap if you guys are interested in picking up a wallet just know it does help me out head to the link in the description and when you use that link use promo code dvp squad for 10 percent off your entire order believe it or not you can use that as many times as you'd like thank you again ridge wallets for sponsoring today's video but guys let's jump right on into it <laughs> What's going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you episode 6 of Rating My Subscribers Mustangs and I know what you're thinking. New location. Hold up, hold up. Check this out. Check this out. Not only am I at a different location but we get another chair because we have another guest. It goes a little something like this. Get that drum roll going on three, two, and one. No motherfucker! Hey get the fuck out! And today's guest is... Let's rate some cars, man. Damn, you're ready to jump into this. Let's go. Well, guys, we got Brandon, also known as Minion50, and I have to be honest with you, I don't know how this episode's gonna go, okay? Oh, We're gonna try our best. Ooh, cat hair, bro. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Oh, shit. We're in trouble. <laughs> don't be talking shit. Well, I don't. That's right. you. You talk shit. No one's a peasant. I ain't saying that. Yes, guys, we are at the Miranda's house if... You couldn't tell, and we have Brandon on today. Many of you guys know Brandon and his 2015 triple yellow S550. Really quick, how's the car going? Good, even though you say it's shitty. Dang, dude, we're starting off like that? Are you fucking kidding me? I can already tell how this episode's gonna end. Please remember, guys, we have over almost 1,300 submissions. Now think about that. 1,300 emails with photos, so trying my best to cover as many as possible. These videos take forever to make, so if you could just take two seconds, drop a thumbs up, drop a comment, it honestly helps the videos rank higher. And the more we can get through, the better, so I'm gonna try to do that today, but Trevor Lambert, what do you got for us? And listen, we have a new edge. I'll go ahead and start this one off. Clean new edge, black, 03, 04, 02, maybe. Bullet wheels, gotta love them, man. No, other than that, the car is typically stock, you know, on a scale through one through five, that's where I'm changing the scale this episode because one through 10 is just, it's just too much. I'm gonna give this a two. Brandon? Yeah, I like it. Could use some lowering bullet wheels. They're black bullet wheels. I would give it probably a two also. A two as well. Moving on to nice donuts. What you got for us? Oh, okay. Sorry, I would let you start right. this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the stage with this one. Bright Atlantic Blue 2000, if I can get this. Sorry, I'm gonna leave it just like that. And I kind of like the color wheels on there. It does flow really nice with the paint. It is, again, kind of in that stock category. I'm writing it at three because it's Bright Atlantic Blue, but Brandon. Say, it's a very clean car. It's got the clear... Clear headlights. Clear headlight turn signals. I'd give it a three. Can't go wrong with Bright You really though. can't. We have Paul. Let's see what we got. Another new edge. Okay, I'm not gonna complain at all. All right, Brandon, you take the stage on this one right away. Go for it. I see a cow hood. Looks like a shift light in the... Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. It's all on drag radio. I bet you this thing's fast. Oh, yeah. Um, Really quick before, so go look at before we write... Oh, oh, I see a Pro Charger. Okay, yeah. this thing's sweet, man. This is from the American Muscle Show. The mm -hmm. race stars, too. And he doesn't have it lowered in the rear, so this dude definitely probably races his car. No, no spoiler delete. I'm gonna give it a... I'm gonna give it a four. He's wanting to put in work with this car, and it's very nice looking. Love the setup, love the color. Pro Charge, Intercooler, or Vortec, I can't tell, but I'm gonna give it a four. What about you? I'll probably go a four and a half. Four and a half, woo! Okay. Next on the list, we have All Dare, I believe I said that right. Sorry if I did butcher that, but we have a 5.0. And Brandon, let it rip. Hold, hold up, there you go. It's either on coilovers or it's on bags. Looks like coils. Those winglets, that splitter, Boss 302. The wheels look good. I like the wheels with the white paint. I am going to add, it does have a little too much on the windshield for my liking. And yeah, the winglets. I'm not a big fan of those Coyote badges. They do look good. It's just not me. But on a five point scale, this car is nicely done. In my opinion, I'm going to give it a three and a half. I like the windshield banner, but I don't, I don't really like the 
sticker on the bottom. I'll probably go with three and a half as well. All right, three and a half for you. 3.7. That's you, bro. I like the uh, wheels that look good. It needs to be lowered a little bit, maybe change out the front grill. Some tint for sure. Yeah. Um, cool thing, V6 does come with like the Cali Special Fogs, which that is a plus with the V6. The GTs don't even come with that. Um, what would you rate it though on a five point scale? Probably a three. Three. You need to lose the front plate bracket. I'm gonna be honest, like uh, I'm just two and a half. That's just for me. Wesley, what do we got? Another new Ooh. edge. It's gonna be a new edge kind of day. How funny is that? Ooh. Both came from new edges and it's gonna be a bunch of new and edges. It's yellow. I'll start this one off. We have a Mach 1. Can't go wrong with those. Um, I love the yellow. I'm not gonna lie, yellow Mach 1s. Comp orange Mach 1s, those weird little colors are my favorite. Yeah, it's it's very nice. Um, it needs to be lowered though. I love the yellow. Screaming yellow is one of my favorite colors. It goes closely together with my color, triple yellow. Triple. I gotta give this Mach a three. I'll go with a four. Yellow. Okay, well, fair, fair enough. 252 squad with another new edge. This one's a bit different. Let's go with this photo. Brandon, I'm gonna let you start this one off because you had a vert new edge. Oh yeah, back so... to the vert life. Looks good. Hood, uh, I like the cow hood. Definitely needs to be lowered, needs a Mach 1 splitter. Yeah, that's like an essential with a stock bumper. Like, you need to get that Mach 1. It's like 60 bucks on LMR. Mm -hmm. Go get it. It's got the clear turn signal lights. Mm -hmm. I'd probably rate it a three. I'm gonna give it a two and a half. Tony Tucker. I like that name, that's pretty cool. So we do have a 2010. For those of you that know, the 2010s did not come with the Coyote, but they had the Coyote body style. Kind of like the redheaded stepchild of Mustangs, honestly. It is kind of stock, and it even has aftermarket stock wheels. They do look good. I, I'm not complaining about them. I just wish they were wider. Yeah, yeah, definitely a staggered setup would be good. You do have the rear window louvers. I'm not a fan of it, but hey, it is something you put on, and I would have to say... I'm about to say it's two and a half as well, man, just because it is pretty stock. I'll go, I'll go three. Brand's gonna give you three. All right, next up we have Pam. So we do have a clean California special right here. It is lowered, aftermarket wheels. Um, I would guess this car has a Boss 302 intake on it. Probably custom dyno tune from the same person that tuned mine. Yeah, Corsa Extremes, I can already tell through the car. I, I gotta give this car, I gotta give it a a four. Look at those gold wheels on that silver car. Like, little front splitter, what? Needed that stupid little horse on the grill. I'm gonna give it a one. <laughs> That's perfect. It's my mom. I can get away with it. <laughs> until she beats my ass. Until she just stops feeding your bitch ass. Brendan Goldstein with an 04 Cobra. All right, I'll start this one off. So we have a Terminator Cobra, 2004, legend, legend of a car. I am gonna go ahead and get it out of the way. It's a convertible, not my style. Don't take that to offense, that's just my ratings, so it's just where I'm at with it. I like the wheels though, it's a really, really common setup on a Cobra, but hey, it looks super good. Anyway, the car is stock other than it being lowered in wheels. It's a Terminator, I'm gonna give it a three. I'll go with three as well. Three as well? Oh my Next up on the list, we got Blackwell's Performance. Ooh. Ooh, okay, Brandon, you start this one, buddy. We got a 65 from Texas. That blue is really, really nice. It is. It's it's almost like a deep impact, isn't it? The chrome original side piece and the front bumper guard. Mm -hmm. Digging this thing. I'll probably give it a five, just because it's. Clean. I gotta give it a five too, man. You just don't see them. And hey, first clean, five. Clean and original. All right, Fabio, what do you got for us? Um, let's go with this photo. Ooh, I kind of like that. I, I kind of like that. It's got the Roush. Has the saline? Is it the Roush or saline? It's got the Roush body kit on it. It looks like I don't really. I don't like know. The crumb lip on the wheels. That's the only. Those are thing. the bullet wheels as well. Yeah. As you guys know, bullet wheels are like everybody's go-to. Whatever. I've only reviewed about 17 cars with this six series with <laughs> fucking bullet wheels. I do like the way this car looks. It's the front bumper. I will say it and I will stick to it. Stock three valve front ends are goofy looking, and I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but. Take some money, switch out the grills. That's all it takes. Switch out a grill, put a lip on it, boom, done. For you fucks that keep it stock, no wonder why I laugh at it when it looks like a pug, okay? Oh, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I'm kidding, but it looks super good, man. I love that front bumper. It really fits the car really well. The wheels, I'll give it to you this time just because I can barely see the bullet spokes. I'm gonna give this three valve a three and a half. I'll give it a four. Pussy. Good. Our next one up is by Jake Ford. Um, let's go, this one seems decent. Those are oh, FR500s. Yep, another go-to. 
I don't like the chrome lip once again. Needs a Mach 1 lip for sure. Green plate with the fucking red panther head or what? Or red. Oh my god. The yellow. yellow. So I, I, did, I saw the red sign when I was talking, but yeah, that green license plate has to go, bro. That's like, the car has a great amount of potential. If he put a freaking lip on it and got rid of that license plate, dude, this would be a point and a half higher right now. Oh yeah. It's and cool. some tint. Look at them fat rear tires Can too. Get those? I'm gonna have to rate it a two and a half. Where you at with it? Probably a three. Three? Fair enough. Jason F Jason, we're not gonna even say that last name. Uh, let's go with this one. We'll go with a little booty shot. I have to admit, I'm a huge, huge fan of a silver. This is clean. I really like this look, and he has like a gunmetal, kind yeah. of like your color on those you wheels. You see like every line. Dude. Oh, they're RTR wheels too. Oh, those are RTR wheels? They're the tech meshes. Dude, silver coyotes with black accents, dude. I would totally back that, and I back this a lot. I even like the um, deck lid because it matches. I'm gonna give this car a four. I'm gonna go four and a half. I like the uh, GT500 spoiler, the wheels. It's nicely done. Maybe needs a black diffuser. Yeah, that's about all, that's about get all the I Boss 302 diffuser. It's super simple to install. You rip the bumper off, it's a cut line, you just cut it, tack it right on. It's simple, got, man. It's got your side skirts or whatever. I love it, ready. I love this car. I really do, it's so nice. Very nice car, man. Next up, we got Adrian. Gotta have it Gotta green. Have it green. 13, 14. Go ahead, start it off. Track package wheels. I would probably say get the hood vents painted black. I do see a stripe on the roof. Which is odd. Why yeah. isn't it on the hood? I would say either get black hood vents or carry the stripe down the hood. Mm -hmm. I would definitely probably lower it, get some H&Rs on there, put some black badges on the side. I'm gonna go with a four. I have to admit, I think you're a little bit lenient on this one. Out of a five point scale, I think you're a little lenient and here's why. So I agree with absolutely everything you said. The one, the two, three, four things that definitely need to be done. One, the stripe needs to be finished. Two, black accents on here. The grill maybe, I'll give you the grill, whatever, that's fine. Lower it for sure, but what's going on here? Why do you have two different mounts for a license plate? I can't move it over, but. You have four holes in that bumper. I'm not gonna rag on you for it, but just, you know, make that a priority to take care of, man. It's stuff like that that goes a long way. That's why I'm gonna give this Coyote a three. Next up, we have Ethan. And Ethan has a DSG, DSG and New Edge. And Brandon, since you had DSG, I'll let you go ahead and start this one off as well. And it is a, it is a, on two clean. Mach 1 lip, Mach 1 grill. Cobra wheels, or? Uh, r no, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a rep, I don't know. It is a vert too, so it looks <laughs> just like how my car did when I got it. Yeah. I would lower it, and that's probably about all I can say. Maybe tint the headlights, but I'll give it a three. I give it a three too, it needs to be lowered. Next up, we have our boy Kyle. And another new edge. And bullet wheels. <laughs> All right. Um, it does look like it may be lowered. And we do have some tire letters on there. I'm not going to be hypocrite. I ran them for good purpose, though. Hashtag Buck Finn. The way this car sits, I'm going to give it a two and a half. All I can really say is get a Mach 1 lip. I'll go with a two and a half. Next up, we have Bowen. And another new edge. This is... Go ahead. I like this. This has been I like this. a new edge kind of day, huh? It is, man. It's so funny, though. People are probably going to enjoy this a lot because we both had new edges, but go ahead. Start this one off. Honestly, I, I always hear mixed reviews on that splitter. I kind of like it. I like it, too. I'm not going to dog it's on it. It's got the side scripts to go I with hate it. that splitter, though, on a Cobra bumper. Yeah. Like, the dude that bought my new edge put that on the Cobra bumper and took the OEM Cobra lip off. Yeah, I was stupid. I would do that. I, I like that spoiler. It goes. He got a black roof wrap. Those chrome salines I like. Dude, that's a clean new edge, man. I'll probably gotta go a four and a half, that, honestly. Yeah, I'm right with you. I think I'm gonna do a four and a half as well. That's, this is very, very tasteful. All right, Joe, what do you got? No way, dude. Another no. one. What color is that? Is that a stock color? It's like Maybe. purple. It's got AMRs. It's got like gunmetal AMRs, Cobra bumper. Got the LED lights. I thought about, I had thought about getting those lights for Shadow on point. I like it. Oh, those are in blue now too. Isn't that funny? You put those in there, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm probably gonna go with a three. I'm with a three as well. Um, put the cover lip on just to give it a little more of a touch and lower it. And I think you'd be heading in the right direction. All right, Ryan. Let's see, man. Looks like we have another three valve. No, oh, that's tired. a kind of okay. I couldn't see. All right. Um, he's on tire, and they look like are they welds? I can't tell. Or is that race stars? Looks like race stars. I think they're race stars. Black. Coyote, pretty stock other than 
the halos, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt real quick. So if I were to guess, we do have a full bolt-on coyote on a tire. Probably making 420, 430. If it's on the 85, what you can get like squeeze 450, I think. But the way this car sits, with it being, you know, if it is a full bolt-on, I'm gonna say it is, I'm gonna give it a four. I think it's pretty well yeah, done. Yeah, I'm gonna go for four. All right guys, so heading to our last contestant on episode six of Rating My Subscribers Mustangs, we have River City Speed 7. Aho! Uh -huh! You picked the wrong day to submit your car, buddy boy. All right, so it looks like we have Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Remember when I gapped him on foot? Look at this pumpkin spice head ass. Looking like a goddamn pumpkin rolling down the hill. Damn! Looking like a peeled clementine head ass. Looking like a carrot that Peter Rabbit grabbed. <laughs> Your goddamn jack-o'-lantern head ass. It ain't Halloween yet. Look, this shit Shelby bait. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking missing Crayola crayon out of the box head ass. RGB, but no O. Oh, that said it black as fuck. RGB, but no O. Oh. Like Roy G. Bib, but yeah, no Roy G. Bib. RGB. <laughs> Yeah, man, this guy's a rice star. Here he's got other rice, riced out cars, too. Does he really? Yeah, man, I think he's got an R32 that he's putting, like, JDM sh all over. Is it manual or auto? I think it's an auto. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear he wants to call himself Pumpkin Spice Boy. Pumpkin Spice Latte? Is that what he named this car? Yeah, yeah man. You're lying. No, nah, man, Pumpkin Spice. I named my car Minion, but, like, Pumpkin, bro? Oh, uh, dude, I don't know what to do about this one. Should we even rate it? Like, I'll let you go first. I'm gonna give it a plus zero is point zero one. I'm gonna give it a fucking negative two. But I wax that ass. All right, guys, that is gonna go ahead and conclude episode six of Rating My Subscribers Mustangs. Again, we have Brandon here today. We and a lot of new edges. Yeah, it was a new throwback. edge kind of day, man. Definitely a new edge kind of day. Big throwback. Do you miss it? You do miss Shadow? I kind of do. I miss Blue. I, I had some fun with that car. Yeah, we definitely did, but I mean, the cars we have now though are just so sick. The for come real. up is real. For real. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out Brandon on Instagram, Minion50. Check out myself also on Instagram, Derek Brand Productions. And a huge shout out goes to all the members of the DBP squad. Their names are listed right here. And if you guys are interested in signing up, right next to the subscribe button on my channel, there's a little join button. Each tier has their own perks and it's gonna be pretty well worth it. So check them out, guys. And if you sign up, I greatly appreciate it. And not to mention, if you check the comments down below, you'll probably see people with like little custom badges next to their name. It's because they signed up and joined the DBP squad through the channel so again it is next to the subscribe button and it truly helps me out guys and yeah we're gonna get my car boosted so we can wax his ass again other than that guys thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time that did not sound right but until next time we'll see you later